With as thin as TVs are, a lot of them do not sound very good. But in this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up an Apple TV with some HomePods to improve your sound using theater mode. Also, at the end, I want to share with you why you should try connecting your AirPods to an Apple TV. I've been doing it for a bit now and love it. We'll talk about why in a few. I did make this same video a couple years back, but there are so many people getting their first HomePods and Apple TVs that I thought it was time to update it. Now, I like the full-size HomePod a lot. It is a great sounding speaker, but when it comes to music, I don't listen enough to really justify the price tag of this. What does make it worth the extra cost of the HomePods is using it with my TVs. It's nice being able to pair these up to the Apple TV and take advantage of that great sound instead of just sitting there waiting to play some music. If I wasn't using this for my Apple TV, I would just buy some more HomePod minis. You don't need to have two full-size HomePods to be able to enjoy this. In here, I had a single HomePod and it supports Dolby Atmos, so it filled the room nicely. It gave me a nice virtual surround sound and um, I was happy with it. When the HomePods 2 came out, I decided to upgrade to a pair in here and it is great. Now, if you don't wanna spend that kind of money to improve your TV speakers, you can also use the HomePod Mini and pair them up to it. If you'd like to learn more about the differences between these two HomePods, I have a video that I'll put a link to down in the description and at the end of this video. Now let's talk about how this works. You have theater mode that wirelessly sends the audio to paired HomePods. You can use either a single HomePod or ideally you would use a pair of them, no matter which type you choose. If you go with the full-size HomePods, because because of their multiple speakers, it supports Dolby Atmos. The full-size HomePods also have room sensing, so you place them, it'll sense where it's at in the room to help balance out the sound. I use a pair of HomePods in my garage that we turned into a family room, and it fills the space out nicely. Now, the HomePod minis, they don't support Dolby Atmos, and I wouldn't use these as a pair in a bigger room. Now, if you have a smaller room and a smaller TV where it doesn't make sense to spend $600 on speakers, this could be an option that most likely will sound better than a lot of TVs. If you're using an Apple TV 4K, second generation or third generation, you can actually pass the audio from your devices to your HomePods. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Let's first talk about the setup. If you wanna check out the latest Apple TV or HomePods, I'll put links down in the description, along with a video on how to do this with Echoes and Fire TV sticks. To set up this theater mode, what you're going to need is an Apple TV 4K first generation or newer, and your HomePods. Just so you know, you could go crazy and mix match your color of your HomePods too. I did it because I need different colors for videos. You could do it just because it's fun. To set up this theater mode within the Home app, the first thing you're gonna need to do is make sure all the devices are in the same room. Now what will happen is if you already have one HomePod in the room and you decide to add a second one, the Home app will prompt you to see if you want to automatically make a stereo pair out of those. The same thing happens when you add a HomePod into a room with an Apple TV. It'll ask if you wanna pair those together. Now if you have existing HomePods and you don't get that prompt for some reason, Reason. The way you connect to HomePods is to go under one of the HomePod settings and then you choose create a stereo pair. From there you pick the one you want to pair up to. Now if you want to pick which HomePods get used as your default speakers within the Home app, you'll go into the Home app, you'll select the Apple TV that you want and you'll go into the settings and then pick the default speakers as either the TV speakers or whatever HomePods you wanna use. To do this within the Apple TV, you would go under settings, you would pick video and audio, and then you would pick audio output. Here's a little demo of what it sounds like without the HomePods in my garage. <laughs> And here's what it sounds like with the HomePods. Here's a demonstration using the HomePod minis with an Apple TV. Next, 
Next is a great feature that you can use with the Apple TV 4K second generation and third generation. It's being able to pass the audio from other devices to your HomePods. Now the way this works is there is an HDMI on most TVs that is labeled ARC or eARC. If you plug the Apple TV into that port, any sound that goes into the TV can come down that HDMI into the Apple TV and out to the HomePod. So in this office, I have my Xbox hooked directly to the TV and the sound comes out of the pair of full-size HomePods. I even have my Fire TV stick plugged into the TV and the sound coming out of the HomePods. I really like having this audio pass through so that I don't have to use the TV speaker for other devices. Before Apple added this feature, anytime I wanted to play the Xbox or watch content from something else, I had to use the TV speakers, which didn't sound great. You do need to turn on this feature in your Apple TV, and you may need to turn it on within your TV. For the Apple TV, under that audio output, you'll see the choice whether or not you want to pass through audio. You'll also see an option there to temporarily use another device for audio. So for me, I can have my primary speakers hooked up to the TV, but then maybe I just want sound coming out of that HomePod mini next to me when I'm over there. During the intro, I tease connecting your AirPods to an Apple TV and why you need to try this out. Well, if you have a set of AirPods Pro first or second generation or a set of AirPods third generation, you could take advantage of spatial audio. What spatial audio does is it uses head tracking to know where your head is in relationship to the Apple TV. Apple uses that head tracking with spatial audio to know which way you are looking. Spatial audio will lock the voice, the dialogue, to the TV. TV. So if you turn your head, you will hear the sound coming into your uh, right ear versus your left. It will also create this virtual surround sound. So you hear, like during action movies, you'll hear things moving around you, but dialogue is still coming from the TV. What's trippy is if you walk out of the room with your AirPods in, you'll actually hear the sound get left behind in the other room. It'll get quieter and it will sound like you left uh, the room and the sound still playing there. It is crazy. If you haven't tried this out and you have supported AirPods, you could put your AirPods in, go underneath your settings, go to Bluetooth, click the eye next to your AirPods, and it'll take you into the settings there. And you can try out spatial audio and just get a feel for it. I find that I'll use them at night when I'm watching something that I know has some great sound to it. Uh, one of the shows I liked was The Expanse. And when you have the AirPods in, you could hear all the details in the sound. You could hear like the ship noise in the background. You could just hear stuff that you normally don't out your TV unless you really crank up the volume. And if you don't have a surround sound system of some kind, it's pretty cool that a set of AirPods can give you a virtual surround sound. If you didn't know this, Spatial Audio also works on iPads, on iPhones, and I believe certain uh, Apple computers. Now to be able to use your AirPods with the Apple TV, you need to be one of the users on the Apple TV. And if you are, when you have your AirPods near the TV and you put them in, you'll get a prompt on the TV to connect them, uh, clicking the little TV looking button on the remote. If you want to ignore that prompt, you just push the back button and it closes it out. If you do choose to connect it, you can take advantage of that spatial audio with services that support it. And with services that don't support it, you get spatial stereo, which still gives you a depth and a fuller sound to it. But overall, it's a great feature. Uh, when you get done using it, you can just put the AirPods back in the case, it disconnects and goes back to the default speakers. Now, are you using HomePods or HomePod minis with your Apple TV? Let us know in the comments. Next, make sure to check out this video over here so you really know the differences between the full size HomePod and the mini. You might be surprised that there really aren't a lot of differences and you could save some money. So go check out that video. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.